Hey folks, welcome to our musky segment. Just caught a fish on one of my new bait designs, the Glide Raider. Been working on this bait for a number of years. I have uh, finally perfected it and bought it to market. You, by the time you watch this, you'll probably be able to buy them. If they're available in the stores, it's gonna be on a limited basis the first year because they're uh, you know, just gonna be difficult to make and uh, hopefully you'll be able to get one of these. But this bait is the ultimate in a suspending, slow sinking, glide type bait. Now glide jerk style, there's two styles of jerk baits. There's the floating diving, and then there's the more of the suspending glide type baits. And the glide baits glide through the water. What I've attempted to design here is a bait that glides in a perfect Zara Spook style zigzag back forth zigzag action every single time you jerk on the rod. That's kind of what, I mean, that's the, it's a rhythmic bait. Now what I'm fishing this on is one of St. Croix's legend tournaments, muskies, the 76 uh, Extra Heavy Fast. And it's a fantastic jerk bait rod. It's called the Jerk. And I'm fishing it with, on a high speed bait caster with 80 pound braid. Now my buddy in the back of the boat, Rich Belanger from St. Croix is uh, of course, man who usually talks about these rods, but I'm, I'm gonna host this segment you know, and to show him that I actually know something about his rods because he, he coaches me a lot. <laughs> and uh, anyways, this is the perfect style of rod. This 7.6 is the perfect style of rod for fishing this bait. Absolutely. Um, these baits are heavy. This is, you know, four ounces of, 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 of lure. And, and most glide baits have to be heavy to, to attain that neutral buoyancy, that, that, that sinking, suspending kind of, kind of action. The way I work this bait, I'll just kind of show you here real quick, is with a low rod action. Just make one caster and show you. Low rod action, just a rhythmic bop, 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 pause, bop, 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 pause, pause, pause. You want, you, want to, you want to keep it, you want to change it up, you want to get into a good rhythm, but you don't need to put too much speed on the bait and you want some pauses because those long pauses is when they usually hit. So you do, 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 and then do, 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 like that. Most people work a glide bait, they go do, 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 do. They just get too much in the rhythm and the fish have a tendency to follow the lure. And I mean follow it to the boat. If you do that, boom, 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 like that. You keep the fish guessing and you'll get more strikes. Now, are you gonna get more follows on a bait like this? Yes. This is a fish caller style bait. This bait will call fish when all other baits won't. So you're, you have a tendency to get more follows, but it's also good for follow, finding where fish are even when they're not hitting this bait. But as you will see by this segment, sometimes they do hit. And watch my buddy Rich Belanger on the landing net. He's a black belt. Okay, Rich, he's not hooked, Rich, he's not hooked. Barely hooked. Glide Raider, look at that, hooks out. Hooks out. Ooh. The Glide Raider, the Glide Raider. It's my nice finest job. creation since the Top Raider, I love it. <laughs> Well, you know, you know, Rich, when you guys are working on rods and then you just, you hit a home run and you know it. Sometimes they just work. Yeah, they just, I hit a home run. I've been wanting, you know, guys, all those guys watching my show, they've been fans of mine for all these years, yep. wanted me to do a good jerk yep. bait, glide bait, and I finally did it. This baby is hot. 
<laughs> right on moonrise. Perfect time. Got it right on moonrise. I mean, the moon is rising right there, folks. Unbelievable. All right, let's just pick her up, put her back, and get back to work here. I'll leave the glider right in the net. Pick the beautiful fish up. Here you go, my friends. Boy, it's fun when you design a product and it starts to work. The Glide Raider Moonrise.